Hi guys, today we're going to be reviewing the game Tri-Track. This game came out in 1980 from Milton Bradley and it is for two players. You're going to try to uh, form a line that is going to connect from one arrow to the other and you can use your own pieces, uh, you can use your opponent's pieces that he's already played and there's also a neutral triangular piece that you'll be able to use. So let's check it out. Okay everybody, here we go. We have a cool little round board over here that's got some triangular indentations on it and also some arrows. And uh, each player is going to be receiving uh, these little triangular pieces here with a certain color and a line on it. And then there's also going to be a neutral triangle as well. Now the object of the game is you're going to try to become the first player to uh, make a connection between two of these arrows. It could be two of these two arrows, these two arrows. And you're going to be able to do this with your player pieces, your opponent's playing pieces, and the neutral. Now, you're not going to be able to move your opponent's pieces, but you can use them in order to try to make the path. So, in the very beginning move, uh, player one's going to go ahead and place the neutral triangle somewhere here in the center, and let's just say he does something like this. So, let's say player two decides to go, and he decides, okay, I'm going to go ahead and place the triangle over here. Uh, now, there's a few different things that you're going to be able to do in this game as far as moves. Uh, one thing you can do is you can just simply place a triangle on the board anywhere like I had done. You can p choose a piece to rotate uh, like this uh, to change the path. Or you can move a piece that you've already placed on the board somewhere else. Uh, you could do something like this, for example. So, uh, let's just say I decided to do that and player... Uh, one's turn was up and he said okay I'm gonna go ahead and play one right over here and player two goes and he says okay I'm gonna go ahead and play one let's just say right uh, here for example and player one goes okay well I'm gonna move this piece right try try uh, over here instead and player two goes okay well this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the white piece and I'm going to move it over here. The game is going to basically be going back and forth like this until sometime in the game one player is able to complete a path between the two arrows. And so anyway, the first player to do that is going to win the game. So my final thoughts, we have a game here called Twix from the 3M Company that's a really, really good game. And that this game reminds me a little bit of that where you're trying to uh, build paths to get from one side to the other. Now, uh, I love Milton Bradley strategy games. Uh, they've got some fantastic ones, and some are much, much bigger than this, uh, like, say, Leverage or Strata 5. Um, but this is a smaller game, and uh, this one is a good game. It's almost kind of like playing tic-tac-toe in a way, because you're trying to see what your opponent is doing, and then you're trying to see, okay, well, what can I do? And then you have some options as to whether you want to all you know to turn a piece to move a piece um, so you've got different options there as well so this is a good little strategy game i think i would definitely recommend this to people who are into like light, light strategy games it's just one of those games that you can just pick up and enjoy and just kind of like wow how did that happen because a lot of times when you the person connects the line you didn't even see it coming um, so yeah good little game all right guys that's my review we'll see you later keep on gaming